should make rubber band bracelets. And this, based off of this. So let's start. Reasons not to make rubber band bracelets. One, your rubber bands break. Stop and right there. Now, they don't break as easily. This one I broke, and it actually takes a lot of force to do so. Let me see here. Really hard. You can stretch it so far. So far before it really breaks. Now you purposely did that. Purposely did that. Now, again, the looms, they're not that easy to break. You have to get it and actually snap it to break it. But plus, I would never treat my loom that horribly. And I... Can prove that. Number three, it takes so much time. Now, about time. Yes, it takes a lot of time to make. But wouldn't you want to take time to make stuff like this? Disney princesses. Figures, I made a small kitty right there, and I don't know what my gumball machine is, but I made one of those. A strawberry, snow cone, light bulb, and a, straw and a um, watermelon that doesn't have seeds. And back to this. It's a waste of time. Okay, hurry up. You can't make it anymore. It's the root, if the loom breaks, and the rubber bones make, you can't make another bracelet. Okay. <laughs> let me prove you wrong right there. Now, let me grab the random bands I have right here. You can make a bracelet like this. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this, but... Let's see. Get two other rubber bands. Hold on. Sorry, the rubber band's tangled. Okay. And when you keep doing this, eventually you'll get a double chain. And now it's also the fishtail that you can do on your fingers. It may hurt, but at least you know you're going to get something good in the outcome. But at least you know that you're going to get a bracelet in the end. That's the outcome. Which apparently means one of these. I just made a fishtail out of fishtails. So that's pretty much my video why you should. It's a really good hobby. I don't know what she's talking about. I think she's just jealous of everybody else who can make a bracelet, and she can't. And, yeah. Bye.